ain't your boy, Stark. All right, that should do it. Won't be any Latvarian air support bothering us on our way to Castle Doom now. We'll take it on foot and bring in Bravo Team once we hit checkpoint three. On foot? You're kidding, right? Do you have any idea how little arch support I get in this outfit? What a sock in it, Webhead. Our socks make it worse, actually. All right, ladies, let's move, now! Bravo Team, come in. Come in. Bravo, do you copy? <laughs> Nothing new to me so far. But Black Ops aren't really SOP for you boys, are they? How'd Fury get you? Same way he got you two, I expect. Everyone owes that old Warhorse favors. And he always calls them in sooner or later. Could be much worse than Coming. this. Yeah, but don't you guys wonder, I... Uh, I mean, invading a foreign country? Like we're soldiers of fortune or something? I've known Nick Fury a very long time, Spider-Man. We wouldn't be doing this without a good reason. Oh, wringing your little hands over the poor Latvarians, huh? You think they'd do the same for you? Colonel Fury, what do you have for us? Mr. President, one of our ongoing investigations into supervillains recently had a major break. We've always been aware that many of these criminals who run around in high-tech armor were getting their materials from an underground figure, Phineas Mason, AKA the Tinkerer. But what we didn't realize until recently is that the Tinkerer himself is being supported by someone outside the country. Specifically, Lucia von Bardas, elected Prime Minister of Latveria. As you know, the link to a foreign power makes this, by definition, international terrorism. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Trust me, they've earned what's coming to them. go again. Hey, Fury, where's that Bravo team you've been trying to reach? Ah, communication still jammed. Someone's gonna go round them up. And you just volunteered. What? And leave all the fun to you girls? Bite me, Fury. No time to argue, Shorty. Take West with you. Locate Bravo team and find another way into that castle. You heard the man, Webhead. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Respect. <laughs> I ain't here to fight you, Von Bars. I'm here to make an example of you. This place is going down, along with your little operation. Should help deter anyone thinking along the same lines. So much for your president's friendly words to me. Or does he even know you're here? You've got a simple choice, Toots. Either come with us quietly, or die when we turn this place into a big pile of Latvarian bricks. You'll pay for this, Nicholas Fury. I promise you that. Take them! after tonight's devastating terror attack. Inside sources are indicating that the terrorists may have been from Latveria. Furthermore, they claim last night's attack was in direct retaliation for a secret, unsanctioned shield assault on Castle Doom exactly one year ago. Shield director Nicholas Fury, now wanted for questioning in connection with these claims, has disappeared. In his absence, Commander Maria Hill has been named Acting Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Superheroes potentially linked to the Latvarian mission have refused to comment, leaving the rest of us to wonder why this horrible tragedy had to happen.
You hear what they're saying about that mission in Latveria? Color me shocked, Steve. I have suspected you weren't sent. You have suspected? Nice of you to say so at the time. Given a choice between Fury and the government, who are you gonna trust? Hmm. Tough call. That's why I didn't even ask you to make it. So, thanks to you, all this is on our hands. No, not on yours. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Colonel Fury, since Dr. Doom's death, Lucia von Bardas has bent over backwards to mend the ties between America and Latveria. We got her elected. This year alone, we lent her country $72 million in aid. Yes, sir. And it hurts to imagine what she's done with that money, knowing what we now know. Thank you, Colonel. I have a recommended response scenario for the city. That won't be necessary. Sir, if I may, this situation is sure to escalate. I can... We have a pleasant relationship with Lucia. We'll handle things, diplomatically. I kept you in the dark so that if something like this ever happened, your consciences would be clear. It's on me, and I'm taking the fall for this one. You got that right. Damn it, Stark. You think these things grow on trees? I'm sure you've got plenty of backups, old man. You always do. Enjoy your exile, Fury. Wherever you are. You'll just stay here and keep picking up the pieces. So, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Is that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need the practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done. Destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals, hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut where the warriors have just been spotted by their super-villain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got Coldheart, you guys. Hey, somebody snag Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on it. On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know? <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign it. This is just completely insane, Hill. I won't do it. I'm sorry. Was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Trank guards, now! Keep us moving, son, if you want to stay conscious. You idiot. We were trying to save lives. Superhero who 
disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until... That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. How many trapped workers did the radio say? Over 300. But something's weird. I'm not getting anything over my info net. No panic signals, nothing. What's wrong, Cable? Look, get us out of here. It's a trap. Of course it's a trap. How else were we going to get you all in one place? Skybird 1, is the area fully cordoned? Roger, perimeter sealed. No one's leaving the zone without our say-so. Copy that. Stand by. Stand by? You and S.H.I.E.L.D. going soft, Tony? We didn't come here to arrest you, Cap. I talked S.H.I.E.L.D. into offering all of you a chance at amnesty. You mean surrender? Thanks, but, uh, I think I'd rather take my chances. Cap, please. You know how hard I tried to fight this. But that was before Stamford. The public doesn't want secret identities anymore. Registration is the only way to make them feel safe when we're around. Just give me a chance to tell you our plans for my 21st century overhaul. You've got five minutes. That's all I'll need. What the hell? Sales at this rate. Are those the conduits we saw in the schematics? Yeah. The only exposed power cables for both the main systems and the backup. Those get cut, and all the cells open up, including Shield's remote control super criminals? You got it. But the release prisoners might give Shield more than they can handle, at least for a few minutes. It could help cover our escape. I can 
control. Watch what you're doing to those prisoners. They just... Damn it, Swanson! Get those prisoners attacking the right targets! We're trying, sir, but they're not responding. The inhibitor transmissions aren't having any effect. Then spike their nano chains! Shut them down! Now! No effect, Mr. Stark. The villains are completely out of control! You don't say. your nanite-injected slaves. We had it under control until you busted in here and released them all. Gentlemen, I suggest we focus on getting our people out of here alive. You made it. Was Fury behind you? Hmm. Closed off from the other side. What do you think it means? Did Fury detonate? Step to one side, Captain. You and your friends here are under arrest. For Pete's sake, Hill, these people need medical attention. He's right. Lower your weapons and call in the medics. No, Stark. I'm under direct orders from the President. The SRA dictates that these unregistered... We're giving everyone temporary amnesty on my authority. At least until we figure out what just happened. If you have a problem with that, Commander Hill, you're going to have to take it up with all of us. Get the medics down here. So many lives apparently lost. And yet lost so that many more lives might be saved. We may not know the true fate of Nicholas Fury, but we do know he showed his willingness to sacrifice himself on behalf of us all. For him and for the rest of the missing and presumed deceased, we ask Almighty God to watch over their souls. Amen. Yeah, all right, all right, Stretch. I can make it. over him any day. So how are you feeling? <laughs> how does it look like I'm feeling? Could be a lot worse, all things considered. Everyone else who was infected is pretty much recovered, but the stuff that Tinkler put in you was ten times. Yeah, I know. <sighs> but believe me, I know. Listen, guys, uh, <clears throat> about all this, I... Uh, why? Well, I, I, ju I just want him to, uh... You can stop there, Nick. There's plenty of blame to go around, on all sides, and plenty of cleaning up yet to do. Yeah, there is that. I know you'll put it right. Get things back to where they used to be. I'm not sure things will ever be quite the same as they used to be. No, but that doesn't mean they can't be good again. <laughs> 